Hackers and scammers on the rise almost every day. Something on your phone, huh? Protecting your hard-earned savings has never been more difficult. So last year alone, ComBank prevented an estimated $100 million worth of attacks. So how do we ensure our bank accounts aren't targeted? Effie Zahos is here. Effie, I mean, these scams, they're increasing and yep. they're getting really sophisticated. Well, look, last year alone, banks spent about $19 billion on system upgrades to, to, to combat this. So that little item expense figure on their cash flow is only going to grow and when you look so far you know scam watch has got up till September figures they're going to come out October figures hopefully by Friday they should be out but about 426 million has been lost we know that number is way below because only 13 percent report it 2 billion was lost last year and they're expecting about 4 billion in total so what you're seeing on your screens in order there from you know highest to lowest is how they actually catch us out so mobile phone and social media are, are, are the big ones that they uh, kind of hook Let's go to straight to protecting your money then. How you doing? Yeah. Okay, so Carl, what I wanted to touch on here, because we talk a lot about the big stuff, what's some little things that people can simply go onto their banking website or on their phone, look at the settings feature and pull some of these down and change them? Are they going to prevent everything? Absolutely not. But it just makes it a little bit harder to get to your accounts. The first one is a no-brainer. Reduce your limits. Whether I'm paying, say, Ali externally or whether I'm paying myself in internally or BPay. There's a little uh, feature there in your settings where you can reduce it. Mine used to be $20,000. I've knocked that right down to $2,000. Mm -hmm. So the most I could lose then is $2,000. You can do the same with ATM limits as well. The other one is Pay ID. Let me say this. This is what's happening. Let's say I'm doing renovations. That's use Pay ID. I'm doing renovations. My builder sends me an invoice to pay $10,000 for my mm -hmm. renovation, say. Someone has scammed or compromised their emails. They've changed the BSB. So when I get it, I think I'm paying my bill to that 10000 I've lost it. But with Pay ID, if I set that up, it's a feature in my banking account, then it links it to my builder and we avoid that. So does everyone have access to those features? You, some are automatic, like the two-factor authentication is. The others, you actually have to get into your settings and ask for it or change it. So if you're not that savvy online, go into a branch and ask them, what features do you have that I can you know, turn on or turn off to just protect and my account? And what about if you ask him, what, what do you do? Oh, Carl, this is, I've met so many people that have been scammed the psychological impact is big so do seek help but one thing I do like and I know it's a lot of media attention coming around this is lock your credit file there you know your bank should be able to offer something or help there is an app credit Sav, that you can download as well but here's the thing if you lock it then no one can you know get or be you or you become a victim it's locked so no one can actually get credit in your name the problem here of course is if you want to get a mobile phone they do a credit check and you've locked it they're gonna say you can't no. get it so you've got to unlock it. But obviously contact your financial institution. If it's scam on a credit card and you report it fast enough you may actually get like a, a cash back. You might get some money. Back. I got a letter from Medibank um, private yesterday saying my data has been stolen. Um, so Medibank private can go stick that up their data. <laughs> I'm over them. Yeah, well. It's a brand new hour right here on Today. G'day it's Ali and Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>